Hello, uh, my name's Dr Gill. Um, I've been asked to do a six-week check with yourself and the little one today. Before we start, can you please confirm your and the little one's date of birth? Uh, uh, I'm Bethany Gill and my date of birth is 10th of August 1993. And the little one? And this one is Felix and he is the 5th of November 2023. Fantastic. So, how are things so far? Yeah, not bad. Brilliant. Now, so tell me about the birth, if you could, to start off. Uh, we had a, a normal delivery. Everything went pretty well. Fantastic. So no complications at all? No complications. Brilliant. And you're happy with how everything is, seems to be so far with the little one? I am. Okay. Uh, what, tell me about the feeding. Uh, he's being exclusively breastfed. Okay. And have you ha had any issues with that? Um, no. <laughs> Jolly. Good. <laughs> So obviously you, you know, you're doing a fantastic job breastfeeding. If you do run into any problems, please speak to us straight away. We can help out with regard to breastfeeding consultants. If you run into any issues like mastitis, infections to your breasts, please talk to us straight away. We want to help and you know, support you however it is you choose to feed. Mm -hmm. So you're doing brilliantly with the breastfeeding. I'm just going to run through the safety features anyway. Just in case, please make sure it's, in your case, only breast milk, that you're not using any cow's milk, goat's milk, There's not, you're not using any honey. And if you did move over to another form of feeding, so for example, infant formula, please make sure you're only using the uh, infant formula tins, okay? Okay. Um, where does he sleep? He sleeps in a uh, crib that straps to the side of our bed. So a next to me cot? Yes. Fantastic. And how much, how much time are you getting? Are you having any difficulties with sleep? No more than anyone else. He sleeps for about three and a half hours at a time and then wakes like clockwork for a feed and a change. Good, good. Now, you say, wakes for a change. Um, how are his nappies? Um, fine. He does uh, a good couple of work and a couple of soils a day. Good. So everything's opening as you expect? Seems to be. Okay. And with regard to the feeding, is there any vomiting? Um, a little bit of spit up. Um, initially a bit more, but everything's settled down. Okay. I'm just going to circle back on the, uh, the cot for a second. Just to clarify, does he ever sleep in the bed with himself? Um, I might hold him until he falls asleep, but then he always goes down into the cot. Okay, that's good. So sometimes you know, it's unavoidable as a mum that we end up having a little bit of co-sleeping, but where possible, please make sure you try to avoid it. There is, a, uh, there is an association with you know, cot deaths and things like that. With that, is there anyone in the family who's, who's had a, an infant die, unfortunately? Not that I know. Very good. Now, I can see that you've got the dummy in there. Different people have different approaches to them. Um, there is information that suggests that um, they're useful for calming them, and also there is a reduction in um, sudden infant death syndrome. So it's good that we've started with that. I see that you've brought the red book with you. You've mm -hmm. seen the health visitor at the minute? We are. Good. And are they happy with uh, the baby's weight gain? She is. Good. And are you happy with his growth? Yes. Good. And tell me about you know how, you, how he's interacting with you. So have you heard him babbling? <laughs> yes. Wonderful timing Yes, there. he's started to babble. The last couple of days he's got, the last couple of weeks he's gotten a bit more wakeful and um, mm -hmm. he will follow you around the room. And um, my husband says he's started to smile, but I'm not sure that I've seen it yet. Fantastic. So we've got the fixing, we've got the following. Does he respond to loud noises? Yes. Brilliant. <coughs> and have you seen any issues with regard to his movements and things like that? No. Fantastic, fantastic. So the last two bits, um, does he ever get left alone for prolonged periods of time? Only long enough for me to go to the bathroom. Okay, I think that's quite reasonable. And when you do that, whereabouts do you put him? Um, he will either go into his cot or onto a safe area of carpeted floor, so I can see him. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Sounds like he'd be reading the textbook. Um, and in terms of textbooks going forward, um, is he booked for his immunisations? Uh, yes, they're booked in about two weeks' time. Brilliant. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to strip him down to his nappy and we're going to have a look at him from top to toe. So we're going to have a look at his eyes, listen to his heart, listen to his chest. We're also going to have a look at his tummy and that'll involve checking to see if there's any signs of hernia, so swellings. We will also have a look at his external genitals, see if there's any problems there and also if there's any issues with his bottom. Then we're going to have a look at, do some, check his reflexes. I will warn you, sometimes those can seem a little bit alarming to parents, but they're completely safe if we do them all the while. Okay. So any issues with that before we start? No. Fantastic. Well, let's go and get him under us. Okay. And we'll put him down on scales, please. Fantastic. No. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. It'll be fine. It'll be fine.
So we'll call that 5.8 kilos. So you can pick them up, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so his red reflex was okay, so we could see the light flashing back in his eyes. Mm -hmm. I know it's sometimes a little bit disorientating for them when we switch the lights off. Now I'm going to try and have a listen to his chest, so keep him close to you, mummy is nice and safe. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a listen to his breath sounds, okay? I'm just going to have a listen to his back. Lovely breath sounds. They're fantastic. Now, if you keep him in that position, I'm just going to check along his spine. Okay, so I'm just going to move your hand up. Okay. And now, sometimes they have a tendency to cry here because, unfortunately, my hands are freezing. It's just feeling all the way down his spine. Can't see any issues, and just checking the bottom. Perfect. Okay. If you kind of have to try and turn him round for me, I'll take the dummy for you. Okay. And would you like me to put the dummy back in? If you'll take it. Super. There you go, little man. Thank you. Right. We're going to try and have a listen to his heart now. Oh dear. Okay, everything is fantastic there. Okay, so we've ta obviously taken off the muslin, which is still warm from him. If you'd be kind enough to lie him down on there. So just checking up over the head. Okay. And the fontanelle feels absolutely normal, so we've got no problems there. Hello, hello little one. So we're just going to have a check on his stomach. Oh, can we see any liver? Oh, he's very happy, isn't he? He's very happy. That's okay. And we're just going to go up here. And there's no problems there. And I can't feel any poo there at all. So I'm just going to open the first bit of the nappy. I'm just going to check for any problems in the groin, so checking for his pulses. That's fantastic. And we'll keep everything covered so we don't get hit. I'll do the same again on this side. That pulse is fantastic, so no problems there. Okay, so we're just going to check his genitals. So obviously you can see what we're doing, Mum. So we're going to check one testicle. Excellent, that's all normal. And we're checking the other testicle. That's great. I'm just going to press at the top, and there's no signs of hernias. Oh, so that's grand. So we're going to pick him up by the feet. And we're going to see what if there's any problems with his bottom. No, as you said, he's been doing his nappies well, so there's no issues there. Let's wrap him up nice and tight. He is really very good at fixing and following, isn't he? He's really paying attention to us here. Okay, so let's just have a look at his reflexes. So we're just going to check his suck reflex. Fantastic, so we've got no problems there. Okay. Hello, little man. Oh, hello. Do you want to grasp my fingers? Thank you so much. Brilliant. So we've got a beautiful grasp on both sides. That's brilliant. And he's certainly paying attention to me and looks like he wants to smile. Okay, can I have those hands back? Thank you very much. We've got good tone. <laughs> All very normal. I'm just going to check the reflex on his feet. Oh, a lovely splay of the toes. Again, a lovely splay of the toes. That's brilliant. Now, it's going to look like I'm going to drop him. Okay, I'm not. We're testing a reflex to see how he startles. You ready? Oh dear. One, two, three. Ooh. Ooh, brilliant. So you see how his arms went out like that? That was brilliant. Now we're going to have a look at his hips. So we're coming. Ooh, just relax for me just a little. Oh dear. Come on. Relax. Relax. Up and out. Bit of pressure, fantastic. So we've got no problems with his hips at all. 
Just would you like to put it out? So would you like to just hold on to him for a second and I'm going to get the tape measure and we'll just measure some lengths for him. So we're just seeing how long he is. So all the way from the top, right the way down. If you stretch that leg, fantastic. What a fantastic length, so 57 centimetres. I'm just going to have a quick check the length and size of his head. Oops. All the way around the front. Okay, brilliant. So 39 centimetres, entirely normal for his age. So if you'd like to put him back together again, thank you. So that completes that, and we've managed to swaddle him again fantastically. So we've updated the Red Book. Everything is sorted on his uh, six-week check. Um, I've sorted out the, um, the growth curve so we can see all of that's doing beautifully. Um, you're going to follow up uh, in the next couple of days yourself with the nurse for your health check. Um, is there anything more that I can do for you at the moment? Yeah. Super. Well, thank you very much. I do reiterate, if you've got any changes, any problems, you know, any child under the age of one, I will always see them face-to-face -face the same day. Okay? Thank you. Super. Thank you.